Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move the edit cursor without losing selections in Reaper. Now, at first, this sounds pretty simple. Like, why would you even want this? But if you're doing a lot of heavy editing, like editing multi channel drums or any kind of heavy editing, this really helps. So, by default in Reaper, if you select many different things, like this, 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 and this, and make a time selection, like over here. And after you hit play, and then you want to restart or reseek it from like over here, you have to do it up here on the ruler to go back and check what you did and rehear it. Because if you click down here, it clears our selections. Notice they're gone. So if you create these selections and you want to adjust things like their level altogether or their size, you don't want to lose them every time you hit play. So we create a time selection. Let's say you're down over here. You don't want to have to click in the ruler every time you want to restart. Over here, over here. Let's say you're down over here adjusting things. You want to be able to click maybe over here to reseek it, but then you lose the selections. So I'm going to show you how to get around that. Let's go to our preferences. And down over here, under editing behavior, we have our mouse modifiers. And if we go to track for our context and left click, by default, if we click anywhere in the empty area of our track, it's going to deselect all the items and move the edit cursor. What we want to do is just move the edit cursor without deselecting the items. And if we check through the options, there really isn't one. But we can get around that with this trick. Let's switch it over here to instead of being left click, choose left drag. Now we're going to choose one of the modifiers that aren't being used. I'm going to use Control on my Mac. You might use Command on the PC, although it doesn't really matter which one you choose. But if you choose any of these, you're going to lose those functions. So I'm going to double click and go down here to Marquee Zoom. And that changes the behavior when we hold down the modifier while we left drag over our track. So if I hold on the modifier and left drag, it marquee zooms like that. Or multiple tracks like this. So that's a good behavior to know. But with that behavior comes this feature. If we switch it to left click and make sure that same modifier isn't being used, by choosing default action, not no action, but default action. So it's not being used. Now, instead of left dragging while holding the modifier, if we just click, it moves the edit cursor, but it doesn't change our selection. Our time selection is still here, and so is the item selection. So if we're playing through our song from here, we want to go back to over here, just click it while holding on the modifier. And it moves the edit cursor and reseeks from that spot. Play from here, back over here. But we don't have to go back up to the ruler up here, which does the same behavior. We have to bring our cursor up to the top each time. It's a lot quicker to stay where we are. Working on this track, just click over here, maybe over here. We don't have to go back up to our ruler each time. And it doesn't deselect our time selection or the item selection. Now this only works if we click in the space right here or above our items, like up here or over here, over here, down here, up here. It doesn't work if we click in the items because that's a different context. Although we can change that also. Let's go back to the mouse modifiers and change it to media item. And again, we're in left drag. Down over here is another modifier we're not using. 
Again, on Mac, it's Control. On PC, it could be Command. But again, it doesn't matter which one we choose. Just use an unused one, but one of the ones you're not going to miss. So I'll choose this one, and again, change it to Marquee Zoom. So now, if I go inside an item, hold on the modifier, it changes to a Marquee tool, and I could drag to Marquee Zoom. But what it also does, if we switch it to left click, and make sure this one isn't being used, we can also just click while holding down the modifier and get that same behavior. Just click, and it moves the edit cursor to that spot. But there is a difference between clicking in here or up here and clicking in the item. Is that when we click in the item, it's not going to reseek. So if I hit play, it still moves the edit cursor. If I click, but it doesn't reseek unless I stop and replay it each time, which is still okay if we're not playing at the time. We can just click over here, hit play, click over here, hit play, and so on. But if you want it to reseek each time, and you really want to click inside the items, we can do that as well. Let's go back to media item and let's switch it to left click. And let's change this one to an action. Down over here to the action lists. And now we're going to create a custom action that's going to be triggered by clicking with that modifier inside a media item. So we'll go to custom actions, new. In our filter, type in move edit cursor and mouse. And there's an action right here to move the edit cursor to the mouse cursor. Let's drag this over. And now let's type in play. And for our transport, we'll choose play. Drag this over. And now this custom action is going to move the edit cursor to the mouse cursor. And then it's going to play or reseek for this purpose. We'll give it a name, move cursor, and play. And that's saved. And now we can select and close it. And now it shows up here in our mouse modifier. For this modifier, the media item, and left clicking. So now, if the track is playing from over here, we can just click or hold another modifier anywhere in an item, and it's going to reseek from that spot. But again, it doesn't change our selections. We still have a time selection and our item selection intact. Whereas if we click normally, we lose all that. So now I can adjust things down over here while it's playing for all the items and reseek it just by clicking in our items. And it's going to reseek each time. Now, the only problem with this method is if you're not playing and you hold on the modifier and click inside an item, it's going to start playing. So if you don't want that behavior, just click outside the item to move the cursor without it playing. And if you want it to play, click inside and it starts playing. Or to reseek while it's already playing. And it works outside and inside the same way. So that's pretty much it. That's moving the edit cursor without losing our selections in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom?